If you haven't been living in a bubble, then maybe you've been doing it all wrong this last year. While doing research for the stimulus check package, I came across a picture that led me down this rabbit hole of weirdness when it comes to schools and COVID. As, as high schools reopen in the state of Washington, where some of the strictest lockdown rules were put into place, school administrators and staff have had a hard time deciding whether to allow students to hold band class or cancel it. Now, instead of letting kids down and canceling band altogether, someone came up with this genius idea to have kids practice their instrument, instruments from the safety of a socially distanced porta potty tent. <laughs> Upon arriving to class, students and their instruments, large or small, enter their tent where they are allowed to remove their masks while they practice for their upcoming concert. As if band wasn't hard enough during high school years, now students have to be stuffed into a tiny porta potty tent in order to justify giving them permission to remove their mask. One student in particular is really struggling with the new way of doing band because his oversized tuba barely fits in the tent as it is, let alone properly propped up on his shoulder so he can play it the right way. So, is this child abuse or over the top? Or is this the smartest thing school faculty could come up with? <laughs> now, each state seems to have its own set of rules when it comes to the lockdown that we've all been living through. I'm curious what you think. Is this the right move? Or is this just a little over the top when it comes to protecting kids in band class? One health official said he didn't know whether this did much to protect the kids and could actually be worse on them by forcing them to be in a zipper sealed tent for several hours. Another health official weighed in and said he would need to perform various oxygen tests before giving a professional opinion, but didn't know whether it would be worth the school's money to actually perform these tests. If you had kids that were doing band in a tent, would you want this practice forced on them? Do you think that they should be practicing in a small toilet tent? Or would you reach out to the school and say, hey, there's got to be a better solution. Let's put our heads together. Let me know what you think in the comments. I, for one, think that making kids practice band in small porta potty tents is over the top and intrusive. But then again, I was never cool enough to be invited to join the high school band club. <laughs> anyway, as we're all living in different parts of this crazy Twilight Zone reality, uh, I just wanted to share this crazy video with you. So I hope this video finds you well. And if you liked it, would you do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up? If you like hearing crazy stories, trending news, or learning about money, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you're notified of future videos. Now, as I wrap up, I just wish to remind you that you are amazing. I appreciate you being in my community, and I'll see you on the next weird video.